to subscribe and like my channel, comment below if you agree or even disagree with what we're going to say today. I'm going to show you how to use your wrist. And this doesn't only apply for driver, this applies to every little club going. Okay, and what we're going to try and do is enable the wrist to do their work. A lot of golfers out there don't use their wrist. They use a lot of body on the way down, covering, smothering that golf ball. It's because they don't use the wrist properly. The wrists work like this in the golf scene. They have to rotate back and forward. But especially on the way through the ball, we need to feel those hands rotating, almost crossing over. A lot of people would call that flipping. That's not flipping. Flipping is more this, what I call a windscreen wiper, okay? That's more flipping. That'll elevate the golf ball up in the air, really inhibit the quality of contact you're getting with that golf ball. So we need to make sure those wrists are rotating, especially for you slices out there who come into the golf ball with an open club face. That ball shoots out right-hand side of the golf course for a right-handed golfer. You need to make sure you're allowing the rotation of the forearms, allowing the rotation of the wrist. So if we're looking at it in this perspective here, we're setting up like so, palms facing each other. We want the right hand to turn on top of the left hand. Like I say, it's not a flip, it's not a, it's not a flip, it's not a windscreen washer with the hands, it's a rotation. So once we get that feeling of that rotation of the hands, that club face will naturally close. It's when we unnaturally leave that face open and don't allow the wrist to rotate, that's when that real horrible weak slice to the right occurs. So try it when you go out this weekend, try and get that feeling those wrists are rotating.